welcome back to this new video today we are going to learn how to make a dynamic calendar for any month and year in microsoft excel as you see here in the screen i have created this calendar which automatically updates when i change the month from this drop down and also when i change the year here you see the calendar is automatically updating so here we are going to learn how to create this calendar let's go to this another sheet and start making the calendar first of all in the b5 cell type seun for sunday click on the fill handle and drag this till saturday now in the b3 cell type month beside b3 cell select these two cells and merge them in the f3 cell type year beside f3 cell select these two cells and merge them here we will display the month and here we will display the year now in this cell write the first month name that is january then drag this till december now beside this write the year that is for example 2020 in the next cell write 2021 select these two then drag this till 2030 this you can expand according to your requirement now to create a drop down click on this cell click on the data tab click on data validation in this drop down select a list in the source click and then select the month name range here then click on ok the drop down is created now for the year also do the same click on data validation select a list click on the source then select the year range click on ok the year selection drop down has been created now here let me select january and in the year let me select 2024 now to display the dates here we have to use the combination of sequence date and weekday function for this press equal to then type sequence this sequence function is available in the latest excel version only if you are working in older excel versions then you have to follow a different method i will create a different video tutorial on creating this calendar in old excel versions once the video is released i will put the link in the video description below now open parenthesis in the row type 6 because in a calendar we need total 6 row then give a comma in the columns type 7 because we have total 7 columns here in the calendar then give a comma in the start parameter we have to put the date minus weekday plus 1 function here so here type date open parenthesis in the year click on this year value give a comma in the month parameter we have to provide the numeric value for the month that is selected here because it is a text value we need to convert this to number and to convert this to number we can combine here the match function so let me use here the match function open parenthesis in the lookup value of the match click on this month name comma in the lookup array select this month name range this match function will display the index number of this month here in the range like for january it will display one because january is in the first position if it is march here then it will display three because march is in the third position so this match function here is getting the numeric value for the month given here now give a comma in the match type double click on the exact match close the match function now give a comma in the day type 1 then close the bracket for the date function now we have to subtract the weekday function here so type the minus symbol then use here the weekday function then open parenthesis in the serial number parameter of the weekday function we have to repeat this date function again which you can copy from here by selecting so select this date function right click and copy now in the serial number of the weekday function paste the copied formula by right clicking then paste now give a comma 
then here in the return type we have to select this Sunday through Saturday option which is in the option number one because we are making the calendar in the sequence of Sunday through Saturday so double click on this first option then close parenthesis for the weekday function now add here one plus one then give a comma in the step parameter of the sequence function again put one then close the parenthesis and press enter the role of the weekday function here is to identify in which day the starting date of the month is because every time the starting date of the month is not in sunday it can appear anywhere from sunday to saturday so this weekday function identifies the starting point of the first day of the month here the date is given in the number format we have to convert this into the day format so select this all right click in the mouse click on the format cells here click on custom and in the type of the format remove the general then type here double d then click ok now you see the date is given and for january 2024 the starting date is on monday and the end of the month is on wednesday 1 to 31 these remaining dates are the date of the previous month and next month now we have to make this previous month's date and next month's date invisible or we can also give here a faded font color for that select this all click on home tab click on conditional formatting click on new rule click on use a formula to determine which cell to format now here in the formula bar write this formula that is press equal to text open parenthesis click on this b6 cell then make it relative cell reference by removing the dollar symbol that you can do by pressing f4 key three times give a comma type double quotation m m m m double quotation close parenthesis now use here not equal to symbol that is given by less than and greater than symbol together now click on this month name and here make it absolute cell reference don't remove the dollar symbol here now click on the format button click on the font tab then select a faded color here let me select this from here now click on ok again click ok now here you see the dates of the previous month and next month is given in the faded color now hide these two columns by selecting right click then click on the height now do some formatting here in the calendar select this calendar then apply the border here by going to this border option i am taking this color then click on all border for the month and year also apply the border increase the font size by selecting and here also increase the font size select the days then make it bold you can also give the color highlight here this way increase the row height by selecting them then increase the height of the row now the calendar for january 2024 is here and this is dynamic if you change this to february here you see the date is automatically changed the starting date is on thursday and the ending date is also on thursday let's verify this with computer's calendar let me go here in the february month and here you see it is starting from thursday ending in thursday so this is how we create the dynamic calendar for any month and year in microsoft excel thank you very much for watching this video see you on next video tutorial